And welcome on back everybody hope y'all have been enjoying the let's play if you have y'all already know what to do like subscribe notification bells all that good stuff let's go ahead and get over to Sutopolis. take on the eighth gem i'm not really worried to be honest it, it's it's one i've never been worried about him he he, he should have never been the gym leader i don't know why um steven why wallace let him even be the eighth gym leader what i am worried about though is pokemon um scarlet and violet I'm, I'm i'm not gonna lie after thinking about it for a couple days i've been like you know what there's a big issue that i think a lot of people have not been talking about and it's the fact that they're they're not going to be able to appease everybody so i'm i'm sorry y'all but the the people the, one side is going to be really mad let's just say that let me just make sure where the heck this place is at real quick i wish you could mark stuff in this game okay go up and then left so basically what i'm saying is this we have our main story which is you know the treasure hunt and all that and then we have the um you could say sub main stories Am I even going the right way? I did this battle, right? Nope, I didn't. Okay, well, you have your sub main stories, which are um, the Pokemon Champion League. I don't know why I said that. The Champions League, um, the cooking thing with Arvin, finding like all his recipes and all that stuff, because I guess that's apparently what you're doing is just finding his recipes. I don't know. Sounds kind of boring, to be real. Um, then you have taking on the evil team. So there's two ways they can go with this one right as soon as you get the quest available to you you're able to go just finish the entire quest that way would be stupid because you're attending a trainer school like let's remember that you're attending a trainer school why would you be able to take on the entire pokemon league like all the gym leaders all the elite four and the champion and still be at a trainer school that wouldn't make any sense it'd be funny but it wouldn't make any sense. So I don't think they're gonna do that way. Also, I do feel like Arvin's thing is gonna be tied to like the whole school and everything. Ooh, Vaporeon's getting Ice Beam. I hope it's actually really good. Come on, be good. Damn it. That sucks. Um. So yeah, I, I think it's gonna be tied to like his, like passing his class. I assume the classes are gonna be like how Fire Emblem did. And you know, it's like an actual school year. Well, it actually wasn't the school year because the whole thing that happened. But um, I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't played Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm also thinking about playing the game on the channel sometime in the future. I don't know when, to be honest. Who knows? Um, I'll talk about that like later on, or maybe I'll make a post about it. I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I think it'll be I think it'll be something like that where like actual it's gonna take like a while to actually pass the classes. So yeah. And then the whole enemy thing, again, it, it it wouldn't make sense for the villain team and for Arvin's team, because you're going to have to be going on a scavenger hunt to find all the freaking um, ingredients and all that stuff. It wouldn't make crap. I was trying to get away, too. You see, I turned and she hadn't noticed me yet. That's some bull. But anyways, it wouldn't make any sense to be able to just go venture out into these dangerous areas and, like, just be able to just run find the item run back like it it, it it would take away from the area it would make the area seem just you know kind of boring so like when when you go back to the area to find pokemon you're literally just there to find pokemon and not have any kind of like it it, it, it wouldn't be interesting in my opinion just mm -mm. so i think what they're gonna do which a lot of people may not like because they won't be used to is that well i guess you know you're kind of used to it because well with all the Pokemon games, I, I, I don't know. It's like like with these kind of games, you you can do the you can do like like the whole gems, basically like that's like the whole story of the game. But now that the gems aren't the story of the game, and they're kind of like off to the side, and we hadn't had gems for at least like you know like for Legend of Arceus, we didn't get any gems. It's gonna I think it's gonna upset some people that we can't just do the gems whenever we want to. And it's going to be more of a thing of as the story goes on, you can take on more and more gems. I think that's what they're going to do. I don't know, though, because they did say you can battle the gems in any order. So that would be kind of hard, I guess, to 
really program because people are going to be um doing things like in obviously different orders so and there's probably only going to be like eight gems though anyways um it is going to be interesting to see what they do i do hope the gems um like the whole little gym trial thing because i know sword and shield was, was supposed to have that and they kind of technically do with like the first gems um it's just not as like obvious it's the is it this one i think it's this one no wait this is where we came from right yeah Sutopolis is more to the left isn't it i never remember where the heck Sutopolis is at uh Sutopolis, where are you at buddy Oh, wow, we're really far from you. Never mind. <laughs> um, I'm assuming with the whole gym challenge, though, like they're going to have like an actual, you know, way to be able to actually do it. And I'm assuming it's going to be tied to the school. Maybe you have to like pass certain classes, pass a test as well, which I think would actually be really freaking interesting. And I really hope they do it. I hope it's not just something of like, you know, they kind of just throw you in and uh, here you go. Take on all the gyms. That That's going to be kind of boring to me. I know like the speedrunners are gonna like, like like the people who want to like speed run the games or just people who speed run games in general they're gonna want to have it like that but that's just so uninteresting so one side is gonna be really annoyed the other side is gonna be really happy i'm gonna be really happy i will say that if they do it like that now i could be wrong and they do it and they and they do it i mean technically speaking they would have to do it one of the two ways um it could also well, no, they don't have to do it both of both the ways because I just literally thought about they could just lock it behind a thing of reach a certain level or get a certain number of whatever, like some kind of like experience charm things. I just want to see if there's any items here, but there's not. Let's see what Pokemon are here real quick because we still have a lot of time. We're really early in this episode and we're not going to be losing to Juan. I, I promise y'all that. How is coughing underwater? Hmm. Technically speaking, coughing should just... Shouldn't coughing be dead? <laughs> it's just literally filled up with water. But then again, how are we underwater? You know, I just thought about that. How do we battle with our Pokemon underwater? Like, okay. Even if we had scuba gear, our Pokemon don't get scuba gear. So how are the flying and like... How are the flying types underwater? How are the fire types underwater? How are the ground types underwater? How How is just everything underwater? I'm I'm just... I'm completely confused. Oh no. Oh no. It's Groudon, how did you make that? <laughs> this scene. <laughs> uh, this is funny. Why did Kyogre need a little spot of water? I just thought about that. You're dude, the whole thing is water. Why did you need a darker set of water? Like <laughs> Uh, Pokemon Emerald was such a weird game. That stupid thing popped up on my screen again. I can't see shit. Wait. There we go. Now I can see shit again. Don't. Wait. Did I put a respect? A, a, a respect. God damn. Oh my god. English is hard. Wait, what'd you say? A big Pokemon is fighting with another big Pokemon. Oh, okay. Well, good observation there, buddy. <laughs> you really. Hey. Hey, you really gave me an idea of what is happening here because I mean technically speaking in like the Gala region This is probably like, you know, you know normal Ugh, Those Pokemon fighting Groudon and Kyogre Ugh, The two super ancient Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep and now they're smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy Hey, yo <laughs> Hey, you Steven my boy, they're doing what? They're doing what? I don't think I need to be here for this. I don't want to see the two Pokemon. I, I, I ain't no furry. I mean, I guess technically speaking, they're both not furries. I'm not. I'm not a Hardy, or a or a slimy, a slippery. I don't. I don't know what you would call Kyogre. It's a fish. A fishy. But then what is Groudon? Is Groudon a reptile? It, it's a dinosaur, right? Like Groudon's based off of some based off of like a dinosaur, right? I'm I'm, I'm not just thinking that it's based off of a dinosaur. So a reptilian-y and a fishy. Yeah, I'm neither one of those. Bruh. Oh, I can... Oh, we don't... We don't battle... I thought we battled one. Huh. I thought we had to battle one to actually get, um... Approved to even do this. But you're just trusting the 10-year-old kid to, you know... Oh, okay. Don't tell me I need Flash. I was about to say if I need Flash. Oh, yeah, this place has no... Na 
had no noise except for the things when we bumped the walls. Uh huh. Okay, okay, I'm done now. I'm done now. I'm done now. Ah, so you're May. Oh wait. Ah, so you're May. I've heard tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace. Wallace. Yes, I picture Wallace sounding just like he's Oh wait, I should have done my Hisoka voice. So now I've entrusted my mentor Juan with the gym's operations. Groudon and Kyogre, the two Pokemon wreaking havoc here, are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There's one more somewhere. Somewhere there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It said, God damn, bro, there's too much dialogue here, bro. I'm not doing this voice that damn long. But I will tell you about the properties of both Bungie and. A bungee gum being both rubber and gum. Gum. Bye, pillar. All right. So, wait, do we not? I thought we had a. Huh. Ah, I guess we're not gonna be battling one yet. I thought we had to go battle one. I thought we had to battle one first to prove ourselves. You're telling me. I'm like, I was just saying it a second ago, but like, you're telling me a 10 year old kid is who y'all putting y'all fucking trust in. Y'all are just putting y'all trust in a 10-year-old kid. I don't have the right bike, do I? Let me just... Before I even, you know... Ah, oh, crap. I have to actually freaking go to the damn Pokemon Center real quick, too. Go. Because for some reason, you have to go to the Pokemon Center to get areas marked in this game. You can't go to the Pokemon. It has to be the Pokemon Center. Because that makes complete sense. Well, you're not over here. Damn it. Oh. That is so stupid to me. <laughs> it's just... Older Pokemon games and their logic literally made no sense. At least like at least like Sword and Shield, the game that everybody hated on, made some kind of sense. I don't need Rock Smash, do I? I should just grab Machop just in case I need Rock Smash. I'm not gonna need Blastoise anyway, so yeah. Machop! I mean, Hasselhoff! Come with us. No, oh, you you go sit sit down, sit down, Blastoise. Chill in there for a while. I just picture a really big glove grabbing Blastoise out of the Pokeball and placing it inside the PC. That, that, that that's exactly how I picture that. All right, let's go grab the freaking mock bike. We're gonna fly our Snip Snip all the way to Mauville. Yeah, Mauville or Mobile. Mauville. Yeah, Mauville. It, it, it has to be Mauville. I think, I don't know, A, U, A, sound, I don't, I don't know, it's not, whatever, hey, buddy, give me, give me that bike, yes, I want to switch bikes, okay, no problem, here's the Mach, here's the Mach bike, you can go at Mach speed, you know, technically speaking, with this bike, uh, May and Brendan could solo a lot of people, because they can move at Mach speed, Te technically speaking, all right, gotta go all the way back to freaking. Would it be quicker? Yeah, because I don't have to do dive and all that stuff. If I had, if, if I did, if I went to Sutopolis, I would have to actually swap somebody else out because I would need freaking um. What's his name? Isn't there a trade here? Or do we get a rod here or something? Hey, you got stuff for me? Give me items. No, I don't. I don't care about fucking Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. I still can't believe people don't think it. Don't think it's pronounced Reggie Rock. Doesn't the anime say Reggie Rock? And y'all the ones that want to keep using the anime as, as a source? Ah, oh, I can't stand y'all. I did I did find out though, um for people that always wondered why Paul was never in the Diamond and Pearl games, or even in this even in the plat platinum games, it's because the the games come out before the anime, one, and two, the games are more centered around the manga. Well, the manga is centered around the games, but you know what I mean. Like the game, like game manga kind of connects more to each other. Oh, please don't come right here. Okay, good. Is it this way? Yeah. So that's the reason why Paul wasn't in the games. I was always mad about that. I wish he would have been in the remakes because it kind of felt like he should he should have been there. Would have made the games a lot more interesting. It also would it also would have made the games a lot more. Um, you know, it, it would have gave me an actual reason for buying the games. I went and took. I actually no. I was planning on taking Brilliant Diamond back. The reason I didn't take it back was because of the fact that I was only going to get $11 for it. Yeah, no, not doing that. But I did end up taking a bunch of games back, and I surprisingly got a lot more money than I was expecting, which is pretty cool. 
I didn't think GameStop was going to give me a lot of money. This place should also be uh, getting real muddy. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. You're the fucking champion. You're the champion. I, I, I get that you want to save the people, but you're the champion. How are you entrusting this all into a 12-year-old, 10-year-old girl? Some fucking age. Hey, it's Kabuto. Kabuto or Kabuto, whichever one you want to call it. It's, it's a stupid snake junior. I'm not battling you though. We also have it raining here too. It, it, wait, it was already raining. I should probably sw swap I'm a dude out though. I know that. All right, let's swap I'm a dude with, no. Wow, he's a shit. Let's do a couple encounters here and then I'll turn the super repel on. I don't want to like turn it on like too early and then there's like, like no cool encounters. Oh, we only need the mock bike when we want to get Rayquaza. We don't need it now. Because this is the first, it's literally just the first one. It better be the first one. I'm going to be pissed if it's not. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's just the first one. Rayquaza! Or even if, if you're actually, if you actually are Rayquaza. Go stop supposedly Groudon and Kyogre. I forgot I had Super Repel on the entire time. Forgot all about the, hey, Timo chan And... Nah, I'm good. I do like Hitmonchan, but not like that big of a fan of it, to be honest. So, really? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense for you to have spikes since you do have spiky hair. You know, I'm going to catch you and I'm going to nickname you Gon because you remind me of Gon. Gonmonchan. There we go. He, he reminds me of Gon because the top of his head looks like um, the memes with of Gon without hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna catch you, buddy. Th th this bind better not do a lot. All right. Uh, do I have? Do I have Pokeballs? I do. Oh yeah, so I got a game. Uh, when I went to GameStop, I got a game called King's Bounty Two. Pretty freaking interesting. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Damn sure it's hard though. I'm getting my ass kicked. It's really hard to because like there's no grinding in the game. It's just doing missions and I guess. I, I mean, there's grinding, but like you can't, um, you can't like grind up your team, so that sucks. Like, I mean, you kind of can, but like they don't even get stronger, you know? Gone. What was his last name? Uh, put a space, put an F. It's like three, and what is like two? What is C S C E? Some shit like that. I don't know. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. There we go. Ha -ha. But yeah, it's like it's not like I got like a grinding game though, you know? It's just like you you can like level up and all that stuff, but it's not really it's hard to explain. Let's see who it is. Who's the cry gonna be? Okay, I think it actually is just Rayquaza. I I mean un un unless it doesn't do the cry. Unless that like that cry can't be changed, because even in a randomizer it couldn't be changed. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a Rayquaza. But I think now we might be able to see it. So, because last time when I did this randomizer, when I did a randomizer of this like on my own, it actually did have a different cry. So that might really just be Rayquaza. But yeah, in that King's Bounty game, there is no actual grinding. It's just you make like your hero stronger, which is, like your character you mainly you like use to use like spells and all that stuff or whatever you want to do. Um, but that's it. I always love this scene. It's so sick. It looks so much better in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for obvious reasons, but it still looks really freaking good in these games. <laughs> it just takes so long for Rayquaza to come out of the freaking clouds. Look at that extreme speed. Rayquaza used war. What was that weird ass bell? It sounded like when you're going into a grocery store. Where did where did Groundon actually go? Like I know Kyogre's went underwater. But where did Groundon go? Also, why did we just trust this Rayquaza to not start attacking everybody else? Did, did, did we just think it was gonna be all sweet? Well, alright, then we saved the world. Ha oh, ha! I shall finish this. I shall do my spins now. I, I can't really do my spins in this game, but we have saved the world. And now that Sutopolis and all the rest of the world is saved, we will be ending this Let's Play. But next, or not this Let's Play, this episode.
But next episode, we will be taking on the eighth gym leader, Juan. Will, will May slash Tamari be able to take down Juan and claim the eighth gym badge to go take on the champion? go take on the elite four find out next time with this really this outro sucked my bad y'all i'm not an outro person anyways that's it for now y'all definitely hope y'all did enjoy this episode as always if you did drop a like a subscribe hit the notification bell for more links to everything will be in the descriptions below but for now that's it y'all i'm out peace have a great freaking day everybody